Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, New UK Beekeeper. Today is Wednesday the 28th of June, which is obviously not a weekend. So I did do an inspection weekend just gone. However, I got to the end of the inspections and realized that my camera was on photo mode and not video mode, which was annoying, especially given the events of the inspection. So I'll give you a quick overview as to what I found in the inspections in both of the hives. So when I inspected hive number one, which is my original new colony, which is now effectively a full colony, um, I noticed a lot of queen cells, almost all of which had an egg in size and a couple of them maybe some larvae as well, I think. Uh, there was probably around 15 or so, maybe maybe a couple less, maybe a couple more uh, queen cells in, in this hive. Uh, I didn't really know what to do. So as I was going through, I was removing the queen cells, basically. I didn't have anything else to, to split the hives into. So I, I basically took the queen cells out um, and, and I hoped that no more would be made. So... A couple of days before I did the inspection, I'd put on the super with all the frames in there. So my reasoning is, or my thinking, sorry, is that prior to putting on the super, they ran out of space and they weren't happy about the lack of space. So I'm thinking, or I'm hoping that put, by putting on the super, the um, there'll be less possibility of them creating the queen cells so we'll do an inspection today we'll have a look and we'll just see how it's going so far hive number two which is my uh, full colony was my purchased full colony uh, again when i inspected there were two very developed queen cells quite close to each other both again looked like um, swarm cells However, these ones were very elongated. The, the larvae inside were very large, looked almost ready to be capped, basically. So, and the week before, I'd put on the super on, on that hive. So again, my thinking is that those queen cells had been produced before I'd put uh, that super on, basically, um when they didn't have much room below because when i inspected the the super last week they'd drawn out almost almost all of the cone there was maybe half a section total on on each side so maybe one whole comb a one whole frame that hadn't been drawn out um and there was maybe a third to a half uh it, it was a third to a half full of nectar so there was an extremely strong nectar flow on last week which probably indicates as well you know why they needed that extra space so we'll see what's happening today i'll go and get kitted up i'll get the smoker starters and yeah we'll, we'll see what's happening okay so as usual we'll start off by giving them a, a quick smoke the weather has been absolutely atrocious for the past couple of days so um it's not exactly great now so there's a good possibility that they won't be too pleased about me being in here. So it doesn't look like there's much activity up the top. Have a quick look. Yeah, nothing really being drawn out up here yet. So let's see what's on this first comb. So there's still a little bit to be drawn out on this one. Some some stores in there though. All drawn out on this side. So lots of brood again. 
some larvae in there, caps brood, stores at the top, lots of stores at the top, lots of caps brood. No evidence of queen cells yet. There's a queen cell down here. I can't see if there's anything in it, so I'll have to just So there's a couple of queen cells on this side, the one in the bottom corner there. I'm not entirely sure whether whether there was something in there. There was there was a small white slushy mess. I'm not sure whether that was one that was um, in there last week. Doesn't appear to be anything more on this side. Oh, there's one more there. A couple more there actually. Nothing in those though. Some brews, some stores. I'm not sure about the bottom, I'm just going to give these ones a shake. So there's a queen cup there. But nothing inside. Some drone cells, lots of stores in there, no queen cells on that one. I'm going to try and be as quick as, quick as possible because they're not very really happy at all. No queen cells. Lots of brood on this side. There's a few queen cups which I can see. Not sure if they not sure if there's eggs in them or not. Let's see if we can see anything in there. Nothing in those two. They're really not happy. Oh, they're attacking me. Okay, so the Queen's there. Queen is there. 
No more queen cells there. Back in. Some, yeah, lots of brood in here. Brood in there. Some cap stores. Last but not least, cap brood. Some larvae in this side. This lot. This is a. It's definitely a full hive now. This every every frame is full of bees, which is great. So I'm happy about that. These are not happy about me being here. So, okay, that is much better. Place this back in. There's a dummy ball back in. Oh, they are bouncing off me now. Okay, let's get the crown ball, uh, the uh, queen excluder back on. Bit of a smoke before we put the super on. Put the crown board on. And the lid. So that is looking much better. There was a few queen cells on there, but um, nothing compared to what was on there last week. And I didn't see any real evidence of eggs. There may have been one in, in one of them, but I'm, I'm not convinced. So much happier about that one. Okay, on to hive two.